You know, guitars are like buffets. You just can't stop yourself from going back and back and back and back and back. And you find that one thing that you just can't stop eating and eating and eating and eating. And that's why I weigh 800 pounds and have 40,000 Yamaha guitars. Guitar Stuff with John! Welcome to another Guitar Stuff with John. I want to welcome everybody back to the channel in 2023. So great to have you here. If you haven't hit subscribe, please do. Check out the new merch store. Uh, it's rolling right along pretty good already. So you can find that here on the page where you're watching, I'm sure. Somewhere there's a linky link and a thingy thing. And you can go there and buy all kinds of stuff. And today, another guitar review... And as I, uh, you guys already know, if you've watched this at all, that one of my favorite builders of all time is Yamaha. And I'm going to show you an example of why. This is a guitar that I've just purchased not too long ago, and I did it because it's so rare. I've never seen one of these, and the minute I saw it, I bought it because it, I had never seen one. This is the L16M, standing for mahogany. This thing is built out of Primo solid mahogany, back and sides, and the, with the normal, uh, every, <laughs> the uh, uh, accompanying uh, incredible tone that the, that the L series has, the double L16 dreadnought body, uh, solid mahogany, uh, back and sides, bound in maple. Um, it's just an incredible guitar. And for the money that you pay for it, it makes it even more incredible because they come in somewheres, I think I, I gave around $1,300 for it or $1,200. Not a lot of money for a, for a solid handmade guitar. And when I say handmade, they're handmade on a factory bench line, right? They're not made by machines. People touch these things. When you go down to the 6, the LL6, they start to be factory and they're laminate and blah, blah, blah. But the 16 and up, hard to beat them. Listen at this thing ring. This is with the crappy bench strings. And when I say bench strings, I mean when they string these guitars, they do they do so out of big barrels of bulk, uncoated, uh, eighty twenty strings. Right? These aren't phosphor bronze. They're not coated. They're not high quality. They're just enough to get the guitar strung and tuned and sell. <laughs> a beast it's it's a friggin beast it's it's everything i love about yamaha and love about mahogany guitars uh you just can't beat them they're just fat mahogany sound that's only going to get better it's a proven fact by the number of these instruments that are have survived since the 60s and 70s back when they were you know the the regular line ones were all laminates thousands of those guitars survived and are sought after because they sound so good 
They aged even though they were laminates. That's the testament to the quality that Yamaha has. And we're going to take a quick close look at this. And because you've seen this model before on here, and you're going to see it again because I'm going to, I'm going to show you all the different uh, varieties that the 16s come in. You might even see an LL6 every once in a while on here when I find one that's spectacular. Um, but yeah, let's take a close look at the LL16M by Yamaha. All right, here we are at the headstock of the LL16M by Yamaha. Typical Yamaha perfection here, the rosewood head plate, veneer, gold hardware, Yamaha proprietary. Uh, there's my card of nuts on this. My card of nuts. You know, sometimes plural and singular matter. What is wrong with you? Holy gee. We got an ebony fingerboard. We got the understated, very well done, round, high grade abalone fret markers. You can see them. When the light hits these things, they're really stunning. I love them. Great. Look at that. So cool. Beautiful neck. Five-piece neck. So it's Sapelli Mahogany Sapelli, I believe in this, is how they strip this out. Now, this stripe used to go right through, the, through to here, but they've just started doing it as an inlay that goes through the whole neck. Like this thing goes right through to the... the, uh, the it's on either side of the truss uh, ditch, is what it is, the truss trench. So it goes right down to here, and uh, there we can see the neck joint. Their neck joints are amazing. Uh, they're just flawless, and the guitars, the necks on these things never move. Got a nice maple end pin there, or end cap there, and then we go to the back. Oh, let's go to the front first. Down to the front, this beautiful, sick atop abalone rosette. There's your, there's your sticker, LL16M. Hiroshi Sakurai's signature on it. Of course, he's passed now, but he was uh, one of the tremendous builder. This is the ARE, Acoustic Resonance, Engin Resonance Engineering. Uh, there's your tortoiseshell pickguard, famous Yamaha shape. And straight, easy, perfectly all the way around the other side. The ebony bridge and my car to saddle. Plastic pegs, boo, sorry, but that's what it is. Um, and there's your size. Look at look at this mahogany. Uh oh, it's really nice, really nice. Beautiful grain. Look at that. There's that maple strip just down the middle, all the way down the center of the guitar. Yeah, all solid mahogany. Beautifully done. Beautifully done. And there you go. There's the LL16M. A very rare instrument, in my opinion. I This is the first one I've ever seen in a store, and that's why I bought it. It was like, I have to have this. It's coming, whoops, it's coming home with me. Uh, and I, no, there's just no way I'll ever sell this guitar. It's just one of those instruments that, it, it didn't cost a ton of money, so therefore, it doesn't hurt to stay in my collection. And I know that as it ages and I play it out in the road, it's going to start sounding better and better and better. It's just one of those guitars. So there you go. There's the Yamaha LL16M. Wicked. <laughs>
So there you go. There's the Yamaha LL16M for this amazing solid mahogany body. Just look at the flame in that thing. It's amazing. And as usual, it's got the five-piece neck. Um, I mean, geez, it's, you, it's very difficult to beat this instrument for its price point. Also comes with a, a passive pickup, the Yamaha proprietary version of it with, with six crystals underneath. It sounds great plugged in. I, I tour with these guitars all the time, but this one is special. You can hear it ringing while I'm talking to you, right? Um, so there you go. Uh, if you want a great guitar uh, for under $2,000 that's going to last you the rest of your life and, start, and keep sounding better every six months, <clears throat> this is the one you want to try for. This is a guitar that's often overlooked, and uh, it should not be. They make some of the finest acoustic instruments that have ever been built at Yamaha. There's no question about that. I've been using them all my life, buying them all my life. I have a tremendously uh, satisfying collection of them in my in my stable that I'll never part with ever, and uh, yeah. So there you go, the Yamaha LL16M for mahogany for wicked tone. Go buy one. I did. <laughs> Just kidding. Do what you want, but this is still cool. <laughs> okay, I love you guys. We'll see you next time. On Guitar Stuff with John, don't forget, forget to hit subscribe, ding the notification bell, do the thing, send me a picture of you playing your guitar, dressed like a lobster. Do it now.